We're entering 2022 against a backdrop of a continuing pandemic, greater awareness of climate change and growing acceptance to the need of past action. With ESG investing booming, regulatory scrutiny of ESG products and announcements will continue this year. We also expect to hear louder voices to and from investors to address a range of issues that relate to labour rights and Indigenous rights. Safe to say, we're expecting another eventful year in the world of ESG investing. We all have been following sustainable finance regulation and the evolution of taxonomies across a number of regions over the last year. We will again see more scrutiny of ESG offerings by consumers and regulators alike. In particular, investor commitments to address climate change and setting ambitious net zero targets are spurring regulators to enhance disclosure requirements and actively monitor marketing claims related to ESG products. Add to this new portfolio disclosure rules in Australia and regulatory probing of responsible investment options will continue to rise. The interrelated nature of ESG topics will come to the forefront and challenge investors. One example is the need to roll out clean energy solutions to address climate change, while also considering potential human rights impacts, a challenge most evident in the solar supply chain. ISS ESG research indicates that more than half of ASX 300 companies are poorly prepared to address forced labour risks. Investors will look at portfolio company mechanisms to identify risk, carry out due diligence and implement corrective actions within supply chains. As more companies announce net zero targets this year, we anticipate that investors will start to set expectations that human rights considerations are integrated. Even with tighter regulations, relying on legal and regulatory frameworks may not be sufficient for investors. In particular, investors concerned with respecting Indigenous cultural heritage. Assessing a company's potential for breaches of Indigenous rights requires a nuanced approach, where companies' disclosures are considered alongside additional information, including publicly available location data for cultural heritage site and native title determinations. Understanding whether company stakeholder consultations cover all bases requires added investor research and participation. Our teams at ISS ESG continue to keep a keen eye on these developments and are here to help you to find the right data and support to navigate the world of ESG in 2022. If you want to learn more about our solutions, please visit our website on iss-esg.com.